Before we begin this tutorial, we need the following items. Sanguine pastel pencil, earth tone set, white pastel pencils, charcoal pencils, soft and extra soft, sanguine powder which, which we will make ourselves, sanding paper, kneaded razor, gray 200 gram pastel paper, makeup sponges and a tissue paper. Okay, so whenever I start my drawing, first of all I'm going to start with laying down the landmarks. With laying down landmarks, I'll try to construct geometrical planes and shapes by drafting a trapezium shape. After that, I will analyze where the circles and ovals are near the cheekbone and the forehead. For me, this is a problem solving activity. A pencil being my measuring unit, I'm going to divide and I'm going to geometrically simplify the anatomy of the horse. So here we have an oval geometrical plane above the forehead. Next, I'm going to align the eyes. Wo jo eyes ka socket hai, wo dusri piche wali eye ke socket ke saath kaise jaa raha hai. Uske saath saath main uska muzzle wala area ko lay down kar raha hu. Seedhi line laga ke, which is gonna connect to the nostril area. Jab bhi main eye banata hu, to main eye ke saath saath bade bade circumference draw karta hu. Circles, ovals draw karta hu. Wo mujhe uski placement, uski eyelids ki placement milti hai. अच्छा जी अब इस स्टेज पे आके मेरा थोड़ा सा प्रोपोर्शन मेरा थोड़ा सा अंदाजा खराब हो गया था मैं अब उसको रीसाइज और उसकी एडजस्टमेंट प्लेसमेंट थोड़ी सी नीचे ला रहा हूं व्हाट वाज हैपनिंग वाज कि मेरे जो ऊपर इयर्स की जगह थी उसके लिए मेरे पास ब्रीदिंग एरिया नहीं था और जब भी वैसे मैं ड्राइंग करता हूं सबसे पहले जो कंपोजिशन होती है मेरी उसको मैं हमेशा थोड़ा सा सेंटर से लेफ्ट या राइट हल्का सा कंपोज करता हूं मेरा जो अपना एक स्टाइल है ना उसमें आई लीव सम रूम फॉर द कंपोजिशन टू ब्रीद आई डोंट ड्रॉ ईच एंड एवरी फॉलिकल आई डोंट ड्रॉ ईच एंड एवरी निटी ग्रिटी जो उसका ओवरऑल इंपैक्ट देता हूं देखता हूं थोड़ा सा दूर जाके मैं उसको स्टडी करता हूं कि उसका ओवरऑल इंपैक्ट क्या आ रहा है Okay, now is the stage where I'll start blocking in my major shadows. This is the stage when I started my landmarks, sketching, a little bit of hazy image I made. I drafted it in a draft, very simple geometrical shapes. I proportions to check how high my nostrils are in height and length. Now, what stage is the multiply on. Now, my blocking stage is coming. This stage is where I sponge major, major shadows ko sponge के साथ थोड़ा सा सैंगवीन पाउडर बना के सैंड पेपर पे पंच की एक बड़ी मजदार सी एज होती है आई एम यूजिंग दैट एज और उसके साथ साथ मैं उन वो जो मेजर शैडो एरियाज है मैं उनको ब्लॉक इन कर रहा हूँ Okay, now that I've blocked in the major shadow areas with a sponge uh, using sanguine, I'm gonna further go ahead and start laying down the, the highlights. Now, when I put highlights, ko lagato, I make sure that the tip of my white pastel pencil is sharp. I'm gonna start laying down in the form of hatching. See the crisp lines, ke saath, soft lines, ke saath mein shadows ko or uski drawings ko highlights ko I'll start working on them
इस स्टेज पे मैं डार्क चाकल पाउडर के साथ और ब्रश के साथ लगा रहा हूँ और क्योंकि मैं नहीं चाहता कि मेरी ड्राइंग की कोई हार्ड एजेस आए इस वक्त जो मेरा एम्फोसिस है वो बुकनेटर वाले एरिए पे है विच इज़ कनेक्टिंग टू द चीक बोन एंड द नोस्ट्रल द मज़ल एरिया चाकुल पेंसिल के साथ भी मैं टिप उसका बड़ा फाइन रखता हूँ उसके साथ साथ मैं आराम आराम से सॉफ्ट लाइंस और क्रिस्प लाइंस के साथ हैच करूँगा अब ये वो स्टेज है कि जब हम ड्राइंग कर रहे होते हैं वी हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट वी डोंट हैव एनी हार्ड एजेस एट द मोमेंट बिकॉज यू सी जो बहुत डार्क वैलीज होती हैं वो हमारी सबसे आखिरी स्टेज में होती हैं वन वी आर अबाउट टू फिनिश ऑफ आर वर्क आर प्रोजेक्ट Never use dark values in the initial or the medium stages. This is how I like it to be, because if you've noticed up till now, I haven't erased anything. And now, okay, now. I'm only going to focus on one part of the drawing area. I'm going to focus on the nose. I'm not going to focus everywhere around just the nose, the nostril area. I'm going to try to finish it about 70 to 80%. So let's sit back and enjoy. Now that I'm done with the nostril area, not completely done, but I have to leave it for the moment. I'll be shifting my focus towards the eye area. So this is where I really love to draw eyes. I really enjoy the process of how I'm trying to continuously solve and imagine how it's going to be when light is going to come. It's going to cross. it's going to hit the eyelid there's going to be a shadow behind underneath the eyeball and this area really fascinates me i love drawing eyes i love solving the problems every next step every next stroke every next uh line takes me towards creating certain drama so this is what i want to achieve i i'm always creating dramas there are a lot of strokes there are a lot of hatching there are a lot of values in every form and the, the richness i'm always trying to establish and seek that raw element in a drawing if you've noticed i don't like to smudge that much yes i would like to soften things but smudging is something i always tell my students not to do too much not to overdo it
So here is a really good example of a close up. This is what I mean by accepting the raw form and not smudging all the time. Draw as many as lines as you can. Try to accept these lines in your work. Okay, now I'm going to move towards drawing the hair. So hair is the hair follicles are pretty simple. I don't like drawing each and every hair follicle. What I do is basically I press from the starting point and towards the end I make it into a continuous round line. They're like the shape of an S form. One has to follow the structure, follow how the hair falls on the head. Try to understand that. The weight of the hair where the highlights are coming, follicles are going towards the shadow. This is what I'm keeping in mind and I'm just drawing simple lines as many as I can. These lines vary in values. They start off strong, they end up light. So I'm finally done with the drawing. At this stage, what I like to do is uh, with a dark value, with a dark colored pencil, which is going to be my sanguine or dark brown sanguine, I'm going to revisit my darks. I'm going to revisit my highlights. I'm going to keep checking them. So to make sure that my drawing is coming out the way I wanted it to be because uh, with me, it's never enough. I'm always, always trying to evolve it, uh, unless until somebody buys it off from my hands. So there is it, guys. I hope that you liked my tutorial. In future, I'll be making more tutorials. Anything I can do to help the community and you know learning and educating people uh, any anything i can do for uh, to to support and you know help you guys grow thank you